Hi everyone and welcome back to today's episode of Scarlet Scoop. Stay tuned to hear how some students are adjusting their habits after Reagan Tokes' death and much more. Last week, fourth year Ohio State student Reagan Tokes was murdered after leaving her bartending job at Bodega Cafe in the short north. While police have made an arrest in the case, students are still being more cautious on and around campus. Lantern TV spoke with one student to hear how she plans to change her habits after Tokes' death. I think like a lot of the times before this happened, I mean it's very easy to like say, oh I'm tired, I'm going home and to just like walk home and, and really think like, oh I'm walking down High Street like nothing can happen or oh I'm walking, you know, um, by the law school because like I live on South Campus and like you just don't think like anything can happen because I mean it is well lit up, you know, there's a ton of people. But I think now, like I know a lot of times I'm going to have to walking to um, 16th and Summit and I couldn't, before I would think like, oh, I'll just walk there and I'll call someone on the phone. And that'll be fine, like that's safe enough. Um, now I would definitely pay for an Uber. Stephen Post and Lauren Todd are listed as undergraduate student government president and vice president candidates for the upcoming USG election. Despite USG's rule that campaigning cannot begin until February 22nd at 8 p.m., the duo posted a video to Facebook Wednesday night linking to a donation site. Their video never explicitly states that they're campaigning for Ohio State USG, rather it mentions general positions such as more inclusivity on campus. Campaign manager Matt Barnett told The Lantern that while the funds raised will be used on their presidential and vice presidential campaign, they never state what the campaign is for in the video. Barnett defended the action by saying that listing the goals is not the same as soliciting votes, which would be against USG's bylaws. However, bylaws state that campaigns are allowed to ask for campaigning assistance at any time. For more specifics on this story, check out thelantern.com and click on campus. One of the most recognizable buildings on Ohio State's campus is celebrating a birthday this year. Morrill Tower Residence Hall is turning 50. Construction began on the tower in March of 1965, and the first 10 floors opened to students in fall semester 1966. However, the building wasn't fully completed until 1967. Lantern TV reporter Taylor Davis talked to some current residents to hear their favorite memories from Morrill Tower. Funniest memory of Morrill Tower? happened last year. We used to do these things called scooter races around the circle of Morrill and the little hallways. And like, so we'd go around twice on the scooter and whoever got the fastest time won the race. And then we tried jumping over chairs with it, but that got out of hand real fast. Like this before? And so it was like, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now tell me your favorite memory of living in Morrill Tower. Um, uh, my favorite memory? Oh gosh. Um, probably just like everything that happens with me and my roommates in here. It might be a stereotype that journalists live on coffee, but let me tell you that some of my colleagues here at The Lantern truly live up to it. Jay Panadiker, our copy chief, or as I like to call him, the coffee chief, brought us a special about some of his favorite campus coffee shops. Take a look. Now we're at Connecting Grounds. It's one of the newer coffee shops on campus, and it's located on North Campus near Scott House. Personally, I love some of the higher end coffees that they have here, like the pour overs and the nitro brew. Connecting Grounds is like that coffee shop where you can pay $7 for a cup of coffee, but it's cheaper on campus and has big comfy chairs perfect for studying. They even have their own roasting room where they roast beans that they direct source. For the extended video, check out Lantern TV's page on thelantern.com. Well, that's all we have for today. Make sure that you follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. Also, be sure to check out our YouTube page for extensive OSU news and sports coverage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.